before um, I came here in the spring, uh, before I came, this would have been spring 1968, I was in touch with who was uh, going to be the head of the Department of English as a Second Language. It wasn't a department at the time. It was a, an MA that was shared in a number of different departments on campus. And uh, this guy's name was Richard Sittler, and he was going to become the chair of the new department starting July 1st. So I contacted him. He uh, uh, actually wrote me back and, and offered me a position teaching in the English Language Institute. So I ended up here in Hawaii, and I started in, uh, on, I was hired for September 1st, 1968, and the department had just formed, remember, July 1st, and I joined it September 1st, and I was the first externally hired person in the department. In other words, before that, when the department became a department, the people teaching in the ELI and teaching in the master's program for example, there were people from English, from speech, from linguistics. They joined, uh, they sort of transferred from where they were to the new department. But I was the first externally hired person. I, I finished my, my uh, PhD in uh, 1972 and then was asked immediately to start teaching in the master's program. So I, I began doing that, and then uh, when I, because I had my PhD, I was put up for uh, promotion and tenure, and I was granted tenure, and I was promoted to assistant professor. I still like teaching in the ELI, so I would do that part of my time, but I was basically teaching in the MA program. We didn't have a PhD program then. It was only the MA program. We... Uh, wanted to get a PhD program because we had a lot of our MA graduates who were really interested in continuing their studies. So we decided to do that. And about the same time, we had a, a big movement to look at the name of the department because we realized that English as a second language was confining ourselves. And a lot of our students, in, especially you know, in the MA level, were not finishing their degree in teaching English. They maybe would go back to their countries if they were international students like Japan or Korea and teach their L1. So we decided to rename ourselves the Department of Second Language Studies. And we were the first ones to ever actually use that name. And we were worried that people might not understand it, but it became very popular. And it's now uh, you know, a very, very widely used uh, term. When I uh, first uh, was teaching in the ELI, a lot of the people hired in the department, like I was as instructor, were, were teaching in the ELI exclusively, and that's all they did. So our major focus was the ELI, but then uh, when we became a department, the MA got more and more uh, prominent. That was a major change. And then in 1978, I became department chair. The first thing I wanted to do was have our international students in our MA program teach in the ELI. Uh, we hired someone, uh, and her name was Lakshmi Kumarangatunga, and she was from Sri Lanka. And she was an experienced teacher in Sri Lanka and came and was an outstanding success. And that opened the floodgates. And it doesn't matter if you're an L1 or L2 speaker of English, if, you know, if you're qualified to teach in the ELI. And then um, we started the PhD program. And right after that, then we began to uh, start what we called the Advanced Graduate Certificate Program. This was, we were aiming this at our MA students who didn't want to get a PhD, but they wanted further training and they could come and spend a year with us. I pushed getting the uh, BA program going. We got a BA in, in second language studies and that's become a big success. It's really popular and uh, it's doing very, very well. So those are some of the big changes over the years since I've been here. In addition to the good faculty that we have is that it attracts outstanding students. 
I'm thinking of the master students and the PhD students. Now, it's so much, it's such a pleasure to work with these really highly gifted, motivated, intelligent, talented graduate students. And it makes teaching very, very rewarding.